Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at an asset add-on update and this is the City Builder 3D from the folks at Light Architect and today they've actually gone ahead to add a couple of updates to the add-on. So just in case you've already purchased the full version, you'll be able to get this one for free and for those who haven't gotten this and probably you want to get a City Builder add-on like this, you'll be able to get this for 25% off once you go over to the link in the description and use the coupon code CGI. So what is this new update? The new update here deals with the medieval asset. So right now, if you have the asset add-on, you can go ahead and update it and then you'll be able to have a brand new set of 15 medieval assets. And for those who don't know about this, there is a couple of assets that you can get here and they're pretty high detailed from industrial to metropolitan to Soviet, derelict future, cyberpunk clean future and so on and so forth. So you can also choose to purchase these things as individual pack just in case you know you want one specific thing. But for those who just want to get consistent updates on all of the assets that will be coming to this, you can go ahead and purchase the final one. So with this set, we're simply going to fire up Blender and take a look at what we have. So once you download this, all you need to do is go over to edit, go over to preference and do your installation. Now once your installation is done, press N on your keyboard and right here you would notice that you have the City Builder 3D. Once you click on this button, let's go ahead and get rid of this. Once you click on the button, you can now easily see the assets. So if you have the full version all installed, you'll be able to see all of them. But if you just have one particular pack installed, you can see that pack as you proceed. So we have the small buildings, the mid-sized buildings, and also the large buildings. And all of these things depends on what you want to create. So depending on the kind of scene you want to set up, this might come in very, very handy. So for example, if we simply click on the Hovel Small, as it has five different variations that you can work with the five different types you can see what we have here and that uh, this looks pretty nice and for those who might be thinking about how performance is going to look like probably in terms of geometry counts this is also super optimized as you can see they're using as minimal stuff as they can just to get you good quality while you're working with it meanwhile most of the things that you'll be getting in terms of high quality are coming from the texturing so if you go over to the texturing section or if you go over to the rendering section you would notice that we have pretty cool textures right Right here i mean if you also switch these to cycles so let's switch this to cycles and also switch this to gpu you can see the kind of results we're getting and for this i'm just going to go ahead and throw in the physical atmosphere and probably raise this to about 160 more like that let's uh, see what we have and right here you can start seeing some uh, pretty stuff going for you so depending on what you want to create you can see these things in all of their glory now with this set let's simply just you know switch this back to eevee and jump way back here to take a look at some other things so if we go back to the city builder 3d there is also the hovel small the version 2 which is also pretty nice and you can take a look at some of these things you can take a look at the version 3 and see what you can get and all of these are very small buildings that you can use to populate your medieval scene. So for those who are also thinking about, you know, large scale buildings and stuff like that, yeah, there are a couple of large scale buildings that you can get. So if we dive over to where we can take a look at the mid-sized buildings, there is a pretty nice one which has to do with the tower and you can see this. And for those who are also looking for maybe a tower that has been destroyed or something like that, there is also a pretty good one. So let's uh, move this over to this side and then let's load up this other one and you'll be able to see a destroyed tower. So depending on what you want, probably you want to use this to populate your scene. This is definitely going to be nice. So there are still a large set of buildings that you can get. So let's dive all the way back and uh, let's clean these ones up and let's go over and bring up the fort. So and there's a fort building right here, which is quite dense okay so depending on where you want to stage your performance maybe you're thinking about staging performances for stuff uh maybe for a short animation piece this might definitely come in handy and for those wondering what the texture would look like this is what we have so you can see that the texturing looks pretty nice so depending on what you want to create in terms of animation and maybe you want to create a scene like this for your next shot then this might come in very very handy so there's still a lot of cool stuff that you can get from here so if we simply switch back to our viewport shading and then take a look at the large buildings that we have we can also see that there are a lot of cool stuff that exists with this pack so if we go in here and we take a look at the large castle then we will be able to see some very cool stuff we can also take a look at the cathedral 
and see some pretty nice things as well. Meanwhile, there is also the Grand Cathedral Lodge and also the ruined Grand Cathedral. So depending on what you want and depending on the kind of medieval scene that you're trying to set, you might find these things extremely, extremely useful. And it all comes down to the fact that if you're looking for buildings that you can use for your layout and maybe you don't want to bother so much about modeling these things yourself and you want something that can just get you from point A to point B without wasting so much of your time, then you might want to take a look at this. At the same time, if you're looking for any of these other categories of building, you might want to consider taking a look at the City Builder add-on where you can find some pretty nice industrial, metropolitan and also a lot more stuff. Meanwhile, for those who proceed to get the City Builder 3D add-on, the full version, you'll not only be able to get access to over 90 City Builder 3D assets, you'll also be able to get the Cable Cinematic Movement Camera for free, as this comes with it, and also future updates to this add-on will be inclusive once you purchase the full version. You can also see that they are the creators of the Spidify bug add-on and also a couple more assets and add-ons that you might want to take a look at. And for those who are interested in getting things like film, equipment for their scenes you might also want to consider taking a look at the stuffs that they have here and in case you're looking for some chaos add-on that you can also use to create some sort of destruction or maybe you want to get the add-on value pack which comprises of both the chaos cable cam and also the light architect bundle then you might want to take a look at this link is going to be in the description alongside with the discount code for those who like to get this for 25 percent off tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with a tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace